guys, the people have threw this this to me, uh, this question to me. They have said that Occupy represents all that is wrong with the education system today. And what they have stated is that these kids are taught what to think, not how to think. Would you like to respond yeah, to that, uh, please? Yeah, let me correct. You can start with that on the line. That's 100% wrong to anyone who sees this, hears this. In our group, despite how anyone dresses, appears, people sleeping in the camps, people that gave up careers are going to... You have people with high school degrees, high school diplomas, people with community college degrees, people with Harvard degrees, Yale, Princeton, um, any Ivy League school, those people were in the camp sleeping in there, going without a shower for weeks on end, alongside individuals that may have a high school diploma, but know more about politics and the social issues going on in this country than most of our politicians. It isn't it isn't that there isn't an issue with the education system here, but if you're applying it to the individuals in the park, no. I mean, you have a certain number of individuals that are going there to learn more about specific issues, and that was part of the community, about communicating that and creating this network where you had to research the sources to learn more. Think of it as an extra school. We're getting taught what schools have lied to us about, what our history class has lied to us about. That's basically it. I mean, I'm a high school graduate. I have a first year in an art school. Now, the only reason why I cannot go back to my school is my school is now a shopping mall, thanks to the stock market. So, you know, if you do think about it, we're there learning about other issues that we weren't taught in school, how to take care of each other, how to grow our own food, the truth about what the government has lied to you about, the truth about how these companies are run. Because when you sit in school, they only feed you what's out the history book, and half that stuff out the history book is a cover-up story for something that actually happened. Absolutely true with everything she said, um, with the history and all of that. Um, everybody here, even if they're not educated or learned on the issues, which I, I am, I've taken as many breaths as I have pages in a book, um, but they are set up to learn better because they challenge the very reality of what they live in. They don't take anybody's word for granted. They break it down to a very core processes and try and figure it out on, on, their own, on their own. They don't watch TV. They're not being coerced. They're, they're not believing advertisements. These people, I've never had such an intelligent conversation that I have with occupiers. Now, on the other side of that, you can just figure that out. We do have, you know, we have our people that are here for a meal, which is awesome because we're here for mutual aid and everybody is welcome. But, I mean, with the school systems and what we're trying to teach, it's completely opposite. Um, yeah, I think that, like, especially given that our higher education system in this country has become controlled by corporations and students are becoming indebted servants, that you learn so much for free being part of this movement. I've left school for the time being because I feel like I can learn more living the life I want to live and learning with the people I'm living with and working with more than I can at school. You know, it depends on how you look at history. The way I look at history is, you know, treat it like a child. If you go and you tell the child, you're great. No matter what you do, you're great. You're just great. You're screwing the child. If you tell the child the truth, you know, you're doing the child a favor. Um, I'm not the kind of patriot who says, I have to say that my country is right all the time. Thomas Paine would spit on that, as would a lot of the people, though they be fought themselves, you know, they would spit on that idea. We're not supposed to be great. You know, if you are, you know, you take the American ideals as they were written, you know, really you're supposed to look at history, you know, with, a, with an impartial eye and find out where your country has done wrong so you don't do it. The idea is to improve your country. You know, and they could say occupies a failure of the American education system. We damn near put Sarah Palin, who would lose, lose a debate with most educated fourth graders on history, geography, and I'm not exaggerating. And she had her fingers, she was one like messed up heartbeat away from getting nuclear weapons. So who's a failure of the American education system? There's a streak of anti-intellectualism in our discussion, a streak of anti-history 
They want propaganda, not history. And that's filthy. You touched, on, you touched on something there, uh, the Sarah Palin <laughs> issue. Do you believe that the Sarah Palin issue, how they framed her in the media, is similar to how they're framing you in the media? No, she's big money. She's big money, she's got the budget, and she supports big money. So it's not the same. Uh, she's gotten a free ride. She's dangerously ignorant. She has bigoted things that are not called out. Uh, she's got, the fact that she's even in the discussion, that shows that we're not wrong. She, are you gonna tell me of the, 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 the over 300 million Americans, this was the, the second best person that you could find to have those kind of responsibilities? You gotta be kidding me. I'm not saying I shouldn't be president. You know, I'm too disorganized, but I can tell you, I know a lot more about history, science, and a whole lot of other things than Sarah Palin. She's got a nice little uh, social IQ, and she'd make an excellent prom king, the same way George W. Bush would have. You know, both of them were ignorant, and they have great social intelligence. They can project, cool, I'd like to have a beer with them, which, again, is kind of messed up on our country. But still, uh, no, they are not equivalent. One is a mass group of people trying to protest corporate money, and another person is saying, give the corporations more. And the corporate media is going to take care of their own the way they did her. I want to say something else about the education system that's been bothering me for years. Two years ago, we had the fight in Albany for gay marriage and also a right. Uh, 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 we, we passed a law because the education system, if you think about it, that's where the most violence happens, is inside of the school. Mm. So the teachers, a lot of the teachers put a racist persona on those kids. Be like, oh, about religion, about color, about gender pronouns. Do you think that should all be taken out of the education system? Well, see, that? we, we had, had gotten a law passed, but nobody's still going by that law. The teachers and the students are supposed to get arrested and fined. It doesn't matter what age or group they're in. It was an um, anti-discrimination act that we passed. The DASA Act, Discrimination Against All Students Act that we went to Albany and we spoke our stories to them and they finally passed it because the two senates did not want to pass it. And it basically states, for the way that you dress, color eyeliner, anything, you cannot discriminate. Because when you go to a school, it's funny how they make people that are fighting for rights look like terrorists. They won't talk about protests in school. They won't even bring up the hippie movement in school. They'll bring it up for like five minutes. And then they'll come with a story of saying, I know my history teacher made the hippie movement, hippie movement look bad. At William Point High School in Long Island, she made the hippie movement look bad. She was like, um, yeah, well, it failed because they were a bunch of terrorists. So how do you have the right to say that inside of a school history class? How do you guys feel? I'm going to start with you over here. How do you guys feel about the Tea Party movement? It's died. It's died. Um, you know, it's, where were they under Bush? All right, all this, the first thing that Barack did was, you know, the bailout, which was done by Bush and Barack continued. They weren't there for Bush, so the, the fact is, it is a, it's been motivated by race. They can pretend all they want. The idea of deregulating Wall Street after they have just pulled scam after scam, they've ravaged our economy. You know, and then even since then, the LIBOR scandal, like, you know, there, there are so many things that they want to deregulate. They're mad at the government, but they're not mad at the corporations that own the government. You know, and they, they keep on saying, I don't want this government, you know, and like, this socialism is evil. Yet they love the military, the fire department, the police department. It's a disconnect. And to be honest, it shows like, you know, when you want to talk about the failure of an education system, that's the Tea Party right there. And you want to get into it, there is a streak of, uh, religious bigotry and nonsense and you know that is not something you're gonna find within Occupy Wall Street. Religions had our schools for close to two thousand years. By the by the sword. You know, they forced it. You had to be a Christian number one. And number two, you know, they could ram it down your throat. I went to an all boys Christian school, alright, and it was ostensibly one of the best, you know, schools in the state. I had overt Filthy, disgusting bigots in that school teaching. You know, you had people who shouldn't have been anywhere near children in there. So, you know, when it comes to like the Tea Party, um, you know, I'm glad they 
that they are standing up to at least say that they care about their country because I do believe that apathy is one of the worst enemies. But if they were to succeed, you know, we're so much worse off than we were. You're just going to give it up to the corporations and you're going to wind up with RoboCop world. Some filthy environment, uh, a media that is just trash, unregulated, and monopolized, and we're going to wind up with a society that, that, that is pretty much on the verge of death. My school, with the bigot thing, my school was run by bigots. We weren't allowed to even have a father-daughter dance at our school because they said it was against the Bible. Now to me, that's ridiculous. When you have a school, you're there to make kids feel comfortable and to teach. You don't teach them bullshit lies out of a history book. You don't teach them bullshit about the Bible. Because you know what? If you look at it, Jesus was not God. Two different people, all right? Jesus was God's son. And Jesus was meant to be black, was meant to be Jew, was meant, he danced, he, he danced. He was the face of mankind, you're So saying. how are you going to say, I'm going to go by what God says in the New Testament is Jesus, so you should be teaching both those testaments if you want to run big at school. Cool. Let's break down the Tea Party a little bit first. Um, <clears throat> first of all, government with our founding fathers was never supposed to be run on religion. It was never supposed to be run on bankers, um, among other things, but those were the, those were the big things. And they're huge on both. They want smaller government, as in keep your laws off of my body, awesome. Uh, they want less interference, awesome. But they say the way to do that is to let the corporations run rampant. That, that's the disconnect. Um, I mean, I know a lot of Republicans feel like we have to build up our, our community, our country uh, with industry. Um, which is great. It doesn't necessarily have to be capitalist industry for me, anyway. Uh, the cooperative industry—that's a whole other, whole other thing. But um, I mean, and that's not a bad view to build up our country through industry. But to let um, this greed run rampant and to let the uh, federal government not control the things that are most hurting our country—I—it it boggles me. I'm really.